Hello YouTube people. I have another video for those of you who like to do things yourself. Are you going camping? Is your truck bed full? You cannot get to anything in the very front without removing the tonneau cover or unloading everything in the back? You don't want to spend several hundred dollars on a commercial slider. Well if you'll give me five minutes of your time I'll show you how I solve the problem. This isn't a detailed build video but the build was very straightforward. Just made out of a couple sheets of plywood cut down to six and a half feet long and some hardware. I will put a detailed list at the tail end of this of the material that I used. This build was simple but there was one hard part and that was drilling the 78 holes needed to mount the 39 roller bearings. I used 13 roller bearings per rail. The rails were made up of half inch, uh, excuse me, one inch uh, aluminum angle stock. Uh, it was cut six feet long so I did 13 bearings uh, per rail. Uh, these are regular roller blade bearings that you can buy online anywhere, but very simple. Uh, they were I had to drill a hole on either side, use the bolt for the axle, and I went down each rail with 13 bearings. They're spread roughly about six inches apart, but you can kind of measure it for yourself. You can put more in there. I wouldn't put less in there, but you can add more if you you think you can have a lot more weight. After I built the rails, I simply just screwed them down uh, onto the uh, the slider tray. Um, for the bottom part I just basically used, uh, you can go to Home Depot or any place to buy 12 foot lengths of a threshold for floors. I turned it upside down you'll notice there's a nice uh, track in there and I had to glue it down with uh, liquid nails. You can't really put screws in the track because then you'll have bumps for your bearings. So I just glued them down. The stuff works well and held it tightly. Of course, after I was done building, I had to install this thing into the truck bed. Literally very easy to do. You can see here, I just basically slid both pieces in. Uh, really all there is to it, you slide them in. Easy to come out if you want to use your truck for something else. Also, you'll notice I cut a couple 2x4s. I cut a 2x4 in 2 foot lengths, put that out on the truck bed, kind of beveled the top. You need something for that, those rails to roll out onto the bed on. Um, I kind of realized after I got it together, it does tip out and do it, but I didn't like the flexing, so I built, the, built it up with some 2x4s very easy to do and they store right on the side. I didn't mention it earlier but I think you'll notice on the uh, slider tray I used one by two and went on the perimeter of it uh, and screwed and glued that down. That kind of stiffens up that top tray and makes it sturdy. You don't really need to do anything like that with the base plate because it's sitting flat on the truck bed uh, with the rails on it. But that slider really needs that uh, that bracing around the perimeter to stiffen it up. You also noticed I put a, uh, I repurposed an old towel rack, made a handle with that so I could pull it in and out. And I had some old rubber matting I cut and put down on the deck there just to keep things from sliding around on there. Normally it's pretty full, but if you had a few things on there, you don't want them sliding around. You will notice I painted this thing white. I actually had some white uh, exterior enamel paint that I painted on here. I put a good coat on the, on the base plate and on the, uh, the tray itself. Just in case there's any water that gets on it, you don't want your board warping and you know how plywood just gets kind of messed up when it gets wet. It's just good protection for it. You can use any paint that you might have. I am overall very happy with how this turned out. With that bottom rail, uh, that bottom plate with the, uh, the bearings rolling on that uh, threshold, this thing really rolls in and out with very little effort. In fact, the gravity on the driveway being tilted, it would just kind of roll in on itself, you'll see here. But anyway, you can do it with one hand, it rolls in and out very easy, and I, and I guess that's what you really wanted to do. If you've been watching, you probably noticed I have some 2x4s that the uh, tray slides out onto the tailgate on. Um, I decided to put those on there. I didn't plan to do that originally, but you can see when it comes out, it, it, it doesn't really flush up with the uh, tailgate. And I didn't like the flexing. It would work without it, but 
I basically took a 2x4, cut it uh, two foot lanes, three of them, lined them up with the tracks. I used a belt sander to bevel them, and it just uh, makes it nice for the, uh, the slider to roll out onto. It's nice and firm. And then they stack and lead to the right in a little pocket behind the wheel well. All works well that way. Well, I think I've shown you about all I can here. Um, I'm going to wrap this thing up. I will, like I said earlier, put a uh, detailed uh, material list. It's going to be at the very tail end of this video, so when you get there, you can pause it, just like you can pause anywhere along the video if you want to look at something in more detail. I hope you enjoyed this, and it's useful to you. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe for more videos coming.